Have you ever wondered how an AMG GTS can put the power down on a cold, wet day like today? Well, look no further because in today's video, we're gonna be testing that out. Quick disclaimer, my car has a few modifications, so it's pushing around 660 to 680 horsepower. This should technically hinder the car's ability to put all the power down because from factory, this car has like 510 horsepower to the crank. Mine now has between 660 to 680. So with all that extra power going to the rear wheels, it's actually gonna struggle a lot more to put the power down. But that's even more of a reason why we should actually test this out. And I've been waiting for weeks to get a nice cold, wet day like today. We're gonna be testing it with traction on, traction in sport handling mode, and then traction off. There has been some horror stories of people crashing, wrecking their AMGs because they turn the traction off, they end up in a lake, they end up on a curb, they end up in some trees. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Now, before we get started, we are actually on winter tires because if we were on summers, and with it being this cold out today, we would literally crash into all the trees around us. For the rears, there's actually not that much tread left on it. So yeah, if you had new winter tires, you could probably put the power down better, but at the end of the season, we're gonna be giving these tires a good send off. So we're gonna be doing a launch and then a roll with the traction fully on. First launch, cold tires, wet roads, let's go. Zero to 100, five seconds. How nice. All right, now in second gear, we're gonna do the acceleration. Wow, even on this cold, wet road, with traction on, it puts the power down perfectly. Now, we're gonna put the car into sport handling mode and do the launch again. Jeez. Well, with the sport traction, we got a good four and a half seconds. Second gear acceleration. But now it's the scary part. We're going to be turning off the traction control when it's literally freezing outside. It says it's 40 on my car, but it's actually a little bit colder. And uh, yeah, winter tires, traction control fully off. If you see this video uploaded, it means I didn't fall into this lake over here. We're going to go a little bit away from the curb just in case if anything happens. All right, launch control. Traction control fully off. If I die, remember me. Woo we literally did not even make it to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, this car with traction off in the wet, it seems pretty obvious, but it's not a good idea. However, it is very fun. If you guys are wondering why I'm even making this video, it's more or less an excuse for myself to do some traction control off shenanigans, but might as well record it, right? Pray for me. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with this car when you turn off traction, especially when it's modified and it's pushing like another 160 horsepower. All right, second gear, acceleration. Second gear, 20 miles an hour. Honestly, I did not feel any slippage. Let's try it again. Second gear. Well, to be honest, I did not really feel any kind of slippage with the traction control fully off, but I also really don't want to test my luck today because, yeah, we, uh, we don't want anything to happen to the car that's making us money, so 
All right, so as a result from our data, if you wanna launch a car like this or any rear wheel drive car, it's best to do a launch with the traction and sport handling mode. Because if you launch the car with the traction on, the car is just gonna bog down, it's gonna cut off all power, and you're not gonna get a good launch. Whereas, if you turn the traction fully off and you try to do a launch, the car isn't gonna be able to put the power down at all. As you've seen, best thing to do is to leave it in sport handling mode and then do a launch. Obviously, if it's warm outside with dry pavement with summer tires, then you'll get a good launch and you probably won't have to worry about sliding out or the back end. If you guys enjoy this kind of content with my AMG GTS, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and you guys will not miss any videos.